Uh, is this real? Yeah. Bullshit. Okay. How much was it? 400,000. That's the 400,000 one. How much you really wasted 400,000 on this? Absolutely. Dumb one of my shit. biggest fucking regrets, but really? I keep it around to remind myself. Can you, how much can we get for it? Um, actually now, probably like 200 at the most. Jesus. What yeah. happened? Oh, uh, just price just went down. The price of gold and diamonds aren't what they Where used to be. Where did all go wrong, Dr. Payne? Um, somebody was on the side of the stage at one of my shows, and they said, I bet you won't get a big-ass chain that says big-ass <laughs> chain. And I said, you don't know how f***ing much money I got right now, so don't f***ing try me. Uh, I don't know the guy. Didn't get his number. Wow. Never seen him again, and went and spent money on this chain to prove to this stranger that I would do it. Still don't know who the f*** it was. Wow. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. As you heard, T-Pain on Nappy Boy Radio talk about buying a, his chain for 400 grand. And he said he only did it because some stranger in the crowd said something to him. That's niggas nigging at his finest, y'all. Y'all ever seen the boondocks where nigga moments be popping up and, you know, Uncle Ruckus be like, hey, yo, strong nigga tree at work. I don't mean to keep saying that word, but that's the only thing I can think of when I hear about situations like this. Four hundred thousand dollars for King Chang, yo. I'm over stressing out about a thousand dollar plumbing bill I got in the mail out of nowhere that I gotta uh, suddenly pay out of nowhere, and he spent four hundred grand on a chain. Not only did he spend four hundred, the chain's only worth two hundred grand at the most now, so it lost more than half its value since he bought it. That's an insane investment, yo. But, you know, he's probably young at the time. He's definitely the hottest thing smoking back then. You know, when I was in high school, he was on, like, every song, every hook. Everybody had to auto-tune. Even Lil Wayne was auto-tuning until Jay-Z came out of nowhere with the uh, DOA track and got that up out of here. Like, nah. It, it, it was a crazy era. I'm glad we're done with the auto-tune because, you know what I'm saying, hearing every rapper use it wasn't it, yo. That's, that shit just got too trendy at the end of the day. But... You know, the each is on. I'm sure when I get a large lump sum of money, I gotta make a statement too. You know, in the past, I've had uh, a, a gold grill, you know what I'm saying, with whatever little diamonds in it, whatever, but can't really think of nothing else, you know what I'm saying, along the lines that I spent that was stupid. My stupidest purchases probably gotta be like a section, bottles in the club kind of thing. You know, that'd probably be the most stupidest thing I ever spent my money on. But anyway, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.